Hey fam, today we're going to look at Bark AI, which is an open source text-to-speech model by our friends over at Suno. The best way to see what it can do is just listening to these examples here. Now, these are taken from GitHub. Hello, my name is Suno, and, uh, and I like pizza. <laughs> but I also have other interests, such as playing tic-tac-toe. Um... Now, did you see that? It was able to actually laugh just by saying laugh. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion barks tonight. Now, incredibly, just by including the sing notes, it was singing. I have a silky smooth voice. And today I will tell you about the exercise regimen of the common sloth. Now I want to go over the main benefits, which is open source and it's got tons of voice variation. This is all thanks to the GPT style audio model that it uses behind the scenes. This is fairly unique when it comes to text to speech because it actually synthesizes on the fly as opposed to more popular style models such as Microsoft's Valley model, which uses phenoms, which are b basic building blocks of sound to build up going directly from prompt to embedding to token to transformer all the way to audio codec essentially synthesizing on the fly this is what it allows it to be able to sing to generate sounds such as laughter and even generate multiple voices in different languages der 30-jährige krieg war ein verheerender konflikt der europa stark geprägt hat this is the beginning of the history if you want to hear more please continue now let's head over to the main issues it's a super finicky install. I mean, I was running into error after error after error, and this was under WSL2, so Linux running under Windows. Now, part of this really related to my video card. My video card just didn't have enough RAM. Now, after many hours trying to get it to work under WSL2, I was pretty much done. Ultimately, I was able to get it going with a small model and running a one-click installer natively under Windows. Nonetheless, it was super frustrating. For most cases, I'd just recommend going over to Hugging Face and playing it directly via their spaces. If you really want to play with the code, just go ahead and grab a Colab notebook from GitHub and play with it that way. And if you find it useful, go with the full setup. And hopefully you have a GPU good enough to run this. But first, listen to my actual results. John. Ten. I like to play on my guitar whenever I have time. You should buy a guitar if you have the chance. Not... <laughs> And sometimes it just produced straight yelling, which I've excluded here. You better run, you better do what you can. Uh, don't want to see no blood. Don't be a macho man. Now for comparison, have a listen to this Azure text-to-speech model, which also uses AI, but the previous phenom method. Hello, my name is John and I like to play on the guitar whenever I have time. You should buy a guitar if you have the chance. Not as dynamic, but far more predictable. The other issue is it struggles with long form and there's no commercial usage under the current licensing. There is a solution to the long form issue, which is called Bark Infinity. It's over on GitHub and it's linked in the description. And if you do decide to use it, try the Confused Travolta mode, where it just completely hallucinates all output without any input. It's quite funny. And it does let you save voices that hallucinates for later use, which can be useful. In the end, just play around with it yourself. Go to the Hugging Face space, maybe grab a Google Colab notebook, or just set up the Windows at one click installer. And just remember, it's a brand new project with still many unknowns. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.